I'm here today with Richard Howells, uh, Vice President of Digital Supply Chain at SAP. Welcome, Richard. Thanks for inviting me, Greg. So um, today I'd like to chat with you a little bit about digital transformation and maybe focus on digital transformation in the supply chain. Maybe we can start by talking about um, some of the trends you're seeing. Well, first of all, um, today's supply chain is very volatile whether we're talking about Brexit or trade wars or viruses that are closing down borders, they all are providing different challenges for supply chain executives. Also, customers today are more demanding than ever. They have full visibility of everything that's going on and uh, they are demanding sustainability. So they're looking to buy products from sustainable companies who are manufacturing ethically sourced and, and delivered products. And this in, a, in, a, in another environment of great complexity. This global supply chain means you're dealing with suppliers and partners, contract manufacturers around the world. So delivering uh, all of these customer desires whilst taking into account the complexity and the, and, and the challenges of, uh, of, of globalization are, uh, are increasingly daunting. So what strategies are customers deploying? Well, first of all, they're looking to, uh, to pr drive customer-centric processes. Um, customers are looking for individualized products. They're looking for deliveries to their doorstep. So it, it really is changing the way that uh, you have to design your supply chains. You need full visibility across the end-to-end -end supply chains because you're working with a network of partners, whether it's suppliers, contract manufacturers, logistics service providers, and you need visibility of all of those places. You need to improve the productivity across the supply chain. And that means leveraging technologies and driving industry 4.0 initiatives um, to improve productivity, to improve automation, to improve utilization and throughput. And finally, you need uh, to drive a sustainable supply chain to make sure that you're, as I mentioned earlier, ethically sourcing products, you're designing products that are biodegradable, that use minimal um, packaging material or biodegradable packaging material and thinking about how the, the complete life cycle of those products and how they can be recycled or can be put it back into the earth to leave minimum impact on the environment. Okay. So um, what technologies are available? Because in the end, it comes down to this. Lots of technologies. I mean, we're seeing now that everything can be smart. Everything can have sensors. So there's the, the Internet of Things is, is providing huge amounts of data. There's no shortage of data. The challenge is how to leverage that data. And other technologies can come into play there. Things like machine learning, artificial intelligence, to, to make equipment smarter, to make assets smarter. Predictive analytics to uh, help the, the users, empower the users to make better decisions, automate decisions where possible so they can focus on value-added activities. So it's, it's all um, helping to, to imp and, and then you, you end up, blockchain is another example, blockchain uh, f to secure the data. We're seeing companies leveraging blockchain across multiple uh, vendors and multiple owners and, pa and partners in the supply chain to be able to trace from the raw materials all the way through to the finished products and back again. And then we're also seeing robotics uh, in the warehouse, in, manufa in manufacturing, um, either augmenting and sometimes replacing um, repetitive tasks. So there's lots of technologies and th those technologies working together really help to, to drive a digital supply chain and digitize the supply chain processes. Okay, thanks. I, I, I'd like to pick up on another thing you mentioned, which is Industry 4.0. Um, what's the role of Industry 4.0 in, in driving innovation? But we're seeing Industry 4.0 as a, a real enabler of moving from a transactional based system which captures lots of data to a data driven or making di data driven processes and decisions because industry 4.0 can really help um, automate processes and put context to the data that's being generated into the business concept. That's where I see the IT OT convergence coming together is really leveraging that data in different roles for different functions. And it's not just in manufacturing or in factories. We started in factories, but we need to move uh, Industry 4.0 from just a factory initiative to a company-wide initiative across the supply chain. And we're seeing several use cases to, that come to bear there. I mean, we start with a smart factory, 
and the smart factory started with just capturing the information, but now we're us- really seeing ways of automating the processes, of streamlining processes, of creating uh, autonomous cells that can, th- c- that can help drive uh, individualized products in one manufacturing facility and make multiple products in the same facility. But we also see that the, the role of R&D is critical of designing smarter products and smarter assets, making sure that we have the sensors in the right place on these products and assets to get information fed back into the, the other business processes. We can then leverage uh, information to improve the maintenance process. We can detect and predict when machines may break down and assets may break down before they break down and thus fix them at a lower cost and better have better utilization and throughput of both uh, manufacturing equipment and the assets that are, that are deployed by your customers. So Industry 4.0, I, I believe, goes across the whole process from designing products all the way through to using them in, in, in real-life situations. Okay. Uh, I'd like to close with uh, a question for you about um, how SAP can help in, uh, in digitally transforming the supply chain. Okay. SAP considers everything from the designing, planning, manufacturing, logistics, and operations as part of a digital supply chain. So it's an end-to-end process from design to operate of equipment. So we have integrated solutions that can help address all, uh, all of the challenges that I mentioned before. Because whether you're talking about sustainability, whether you're talking about Industry 4.0, it all starts with how you design the, the assets or the products. You want to design sustainable products. You want to design smart products and smart assets. You need to manufacture them in a sustainable way and leverage Industry 4.0 in that process. And you have to deliver them, again, in a sustainable way, minimizing uh, or or eliminating dead miles, making sure the trucks are full when they're being delivered, or having different methods of delivery to optimize uh, the, the process from a sustainability standpoint. And you want to make sure that when you're running equipment and products, they run in a sustainable manner. And they are smart enough to share information about how they're performing back to the R&D department for, to improve the designs of future products or, engi- or to deliver engineering changes and to the uh, maintenance department to ensure that they're being maintained in a, in a timely manner. So SAP really helps uh, address the challenges of digital, uh, digital supply chain all the way from design to operate. I've been speaking with Richard Howells of SAP. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Greg.